Okay now, uh, as you can see, I have just come in here with my intern Stanley. We are here on the weekend here at the Bureau in Washington, D.C., and I thought, under the circumstances on what Stanley has been showing me on his Twitter phone, I needed to call out some problems. Now, I know we are just here, the two of us, Stanley and myself, on a late weekend night, but Stanley has volunteered to do some social media work for me. So, Stanley is manning the camera. Uh, Stanley, will you turn on that, addi that addendum to lighten back there? That's right. I think that will will brighten things up for me and make me look more presentable to the cameras. Okay, now this is not a press conference. It's just me trying to put my word out into the blogger sphere, the Twitter sphere, as, and I do not know how that is going to be navigated as Mr. Musk has eliminated our agents of the Bureau outside of that platform. So I am very, very upset at Mr. Musk. We have, right here to my right on the screen, we have some young men. They are operatives, and they are, with some new Twitter propaganda methods, being called out and undermined. We want them to appear to all the NPCs to be just good little Generation Z boys out to defend their futures, to demand that we get rid of guns. Well, they are being outed as being paid propagandists of some kind of another, connected to AI, not AI. That's what, well, the AI here at the Bureau, we will continue to discuss in this coming week's press conferences, which leads me to another big dramatic problem of this week. I come out and present Five press conferences past week, one for each day, landmark press conferences. And as I roll this out, Mr. Tucker Carlson gets decommissioned out of Fox News. And over on the Twitter, he is branded as having millions and millions of views. Meanwhile, my press conferences with my very dedicated theme to give recognition to my agents, Bureau agents embedded into big tech, eliminating dangerous misinformation of dandelions as a food source, I did get but nary a few hundred commentaries or, or views on the P-SPAN TV. Now, I think that this Bureau ought to be able to have for ourselves some very dramatic coverage and broadcast potential. And for that very matter, I am entertaining some very dramatic steps ahead that I shall not disclose tonight. But I think that there is a bully pulpit to be used that is not currently being utilized by this current administration. Now, we know that dandelions as a food source is a very dangerous topic. Very, very dangerous that the people are being promoted on some locations on the interwebs to believe in that they can go eat some dandelions in case we, the federal government, do obliterate all of their poultry, all of the avian flu epidemic as we kill off the many, many beehives as they are doing very matter-of-factly down in Australia. I don't know if you've seen that, but our sister death of other nations, our fellow World Economic Forum people down in Australia, they are going hive to hive without due process. They are dumping petrol in and killing off all the pollinators, the bees. It is leaving the beehive, the bee man, in tears, and it ends with for their life's destruction, the destruction of their livelihoods, and the destruction of their bees. We will kill all the bees to protect the bees. We will kill all the poultry to protect the poultry. We eliminate all the eggs so that you can have no more eggs. Now, these are all World Economic Forum vital issues. So, these young men, over here to the right on this camera or on this screen that Stanley has put up to project for you, they are puppeted, doing their marching orders, trying to look like they are spontaneous, and that they are young and up-and-coming young men, Generation Z, as they call themselves, and they are influencers. We need them to influence the NPCs to demand and demand and demand that the politicians do enact gun control registration and elimination. We need the people to be out of all means of self-protection. We know that the Second Amendment is very anti-communist. It is very anti-New anti, anti -new World Order, and we would not like, we do not want to stand for it any longer. Now, Mr. Musk and his platform, he has gone on and done some very dangerous things. He has eliminated our agents, at least all those that he has been able to identify, and removed them off of his platform or within the ranks and file of the employees over there at Twitter. Thankfully, we still have sense of YouTube. We still got Instagram. We got ourselves deeply embedded agents all over the Fauci book. But Twitter, that is starting to be very upsetting because see these young men, they have now had a bad little banner put out by the Twitter warning that they have been in receipt of payments from a management company that is associated with the Democratic National Committee. Now, we want our influencers to appear to be just benign and authentic and extraordinarily free speech and free-minded. We don't want them to look like they are parroted, that they are puppeted, that they have strings attached, that they have handlers. Yet the Twitter has been undermining these young men and making them look like they're just paid operatives. $200,000 to a different, well, you can just read it there on Twitter yourselves. I demand that Mr. Musk remove that banner and let our agents continue to advocate 
for the destruction of the Second Amendment. We shall not be deterred in our very strong, strong, strong sentiment to continue to push to have this Second Amendment abolished as it is dangerous to the World Economic Forum and the New World Order. Now, we health agency, as I've been explaining in my press conferences, are devoted to Klaus Schwab, devoted to the legacy of David Rockefeller, to Henry Kissinger, the big new Brzezinski, the Clintons and the Bushes, the many people have served and served for decades and years and been very much into depopulating this planet as per the Georgia Guidestones. We had it all right there. It's all right there for everyone to read. Multiple languages. We want to bring the population down dramatically to just a fraction of what it is today. And we cannot do that when there are Americans armed to the teeth, free-flowing with their guns and ammunition, able to stand up, organize into militias to defend themselves against a federal bureaucracy. This bureau, in fact. So we are here taking ourselves to call upon Mr. Musk to yield and take down these kinds of impediments to our state-run propaganda programs. Now, Stanley, now I'd like, to, I'd like to just acknowledge Stanley is running the camera. Stanley is a good little intern. He is perhaps the most favorite intern that I've ever had come work here at the agency. He is out from the Rocky Mountain Corridor. He is from Utah. He is a graduate of the Brigham Young University. I have never had a more compliant, more obedient, brave, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent young intern than Stanley. Stanley, thank you for being here and helping me record this and putting it out tonight to get all over. Now, of course, we do know that those good Mormon boys out there from around Utah have always been a favorite for the Cocaine Import Agency and the Bureau because they are good, good order followers. They know how to follow orders and submit and obey and not question authority. Now, Stanley, I'm not saying that to offend you in any way. I think those are virtues, and they are virtues that David Rockefeller and many of his protégés, myself included, do appreciate, and you will have a very good and a successful career here with us at the Bureau with those kind of good attributes and qualities. As long as you can keep your self compartmentalized, and not too concerned, not asking too many questions or thinking outside the box too much, questioning your orders, then you have a very good, good, good career up ahead for you here at the Bureau. Okay, now, thank you, Stanley. Now, Stanley, if you could just play that clip. What the Republican Party doesn't understand about Gen Z is we don't like you. You claim you want to appeal to Gen Z, but you call us stupid, you say we're dumb, you say we're indoctrinated. I promise it's a losing strategy. And Gen Z is watching the Republican Party extremely closely as they destroy our environment, take rights away from women, do nothing about kids being shot in schools, and if they think they can give the middle finger to our generation and get away with it, they're sorely mistaken. When I think of the years, when I think of the years and years and years of work and dedication of many, 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 many of this bureau, all the false flag shootings, all the free gun free zones where we put our drugged up patsies to shoot up a little consistent with our snipers, which again, as the upcoming press conferences of the coming week, we'll disclose more information on. When I think of all these things and to see these young men excellent, superbly articulating the agenda items that we employ using young kiddies as instruments of change and of propaganda, for how dare anyone dare question a child? How dare someone question Gen Z, a child? Yes, this is classic, classic, and they were doing, they have done a brilliant job here trying to smear those Republicans. And though there are many, many Republicans who do our bidding and are just as devoted to the World Economic Forum and the agenda, UN Agenda 2030, and dedicated to Clash Schwab, we got Republicans like that everywhere. There is a contingent of Republican that does actually seem to want to thwart our Great Reset. And so we want to bludgeon these people, bludgeon them, accuse them again and again and again with threats that they are killing the environment, that they hate women, that they have taken away rights, that they want to shoot children in schools. Oh, yes, this is classic. This is beautiful work by these young men. But then they go over on the Twitter and they are undermined, undermined. Now, I am very upset with this kind of thing going on over at the Twitter. So, Stanley, Stanley, will you, Stanley, I need a, I need just a minute, Stanley. Stanley, Bill Stanley, hold on, Stanley. Okay, now, all right, now, these young men, dedicated as they are, now are being undermined over on the Twitter. I do not appreciate the undermining of our agents or any likened to our World Economic Forum Great Reset. I do not appreciate this kind of thing. Now, the Twitter has gotten out of hand. It's gotten out of the hand of this Bureau. Now, we... A year or two ago, could have eliminated, deleted out all the critics, all those exposing these young men, all those tracing, follow the money, where's their money coming from, questioning their authenticity, questioning as to whether they're speaking for themselves, or if they are actors, management, employed by who and by what means. We don't like those questions to be brought up. Ain't as much as they are brought up, 
I demand right now that Elon Musk turn over Twitter to this bureau. Turn over your Twitter to this bureau. And if you do not do that, I think that we shall see some more false flag terror, and we will blame it on the Twitter sphere. We will say that you are running renegade misinformation that is dangerous, fomenting hate, fomenting anger, fomenting lots of dangerous narratives, breeding white nationalists, stormtroopers. Oh, well, not stormtroopers. That's, that's my kind. But we just want to ensure that we don't get any of these big constitutional devoted Republicans to be standing up for their Second Amendment. That's right. We will not tolerate the Second Amendment getting out of hand. It has thwarted us immensely toward this great reset, and we cannot abide anymore all of these big, big pushback limitations that have come against us through the years by these so-called patriots across America that keep their guns, keep their ammunition, and push back against their state governors, legislators, the National Congress, this bureau, the Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms Bureau, and the many other bureaus and agencies of government. Now, I will just conclude now with a warning that false flag terror is what we are good at. We shall ensure there shall be more of it. There always is. Drugged up patsies. All guys, manufactured news stories, blocking of eyewitness testimonies, policemen on the stand down to allow the shooter to go in unimpeded, on through the gun-free zone wreaking havoc and causing terror. Of course, the Oklahoma bombing, I did dis discuss that a little bit in this last week. We're going to discuss it a little bit more in the next week as our Truth Serum AI remakes the logos of this bureau and the other bureaus and agencies of government, including those who are state-sponsored agencies or rather corporations that are in a government-private partnership to spread this information, or rather, the information that this Bureau and the World Economic Forum do want spread out all over this world. Okay, Stanley, you can turn that camera off, and we can go on up to my office, where I can let you do some posting to the social medias. We'll see if your wherewithal will get us more viewership than I have had on the P-SPAN TV. Now, is that not just in infuriating that these young men, paid handsomely as they have been, are so easily undermined over on the Twitter. I will have more to say on this and some agendas to help put in check this runaway criminality that is happening over on the Twitter with Mr. Elon Musk and his truth notations put on the Twitters. Okay, now, uh, Stanley, I think I need a good back rub and a good massage. Now, if you can just turn the camera off now and the lights and we'll go up to my office. Thank you, Stanley, for and for all you out on the social media, I encourage you to, encourage you to come on back on Monday, the Peace Fan TV, where I will have my sixth press conference in this series of press conferences where I'm talking about the Bureau's new AI. It is very important, and I believe very monumental for the, for the people to come to understand the AI that the Bureau has put together.